Hey fellow artists, here's an update to my latest community post. So to recap, I discovered that the most desirable strings for my baritone cigar box guitars are the wound strings in a classical nylon set. They are tonally well balanced, easy on the strumming and picking hand, and have an incredible sustain. Up until recently, I was purchasing Martin & Co M260 sets, which are one of the few ball and classical guitar string sets on the market. The Martin & Co strings sound great, but I had little use for the treble strings in the set. So I'm currently sourcing the strings I need in bulk from JustStrings.com. And their prices on bulk, normal tension, wound nylon strings are phenomenal. The problem is that they are tie end and not ball end. So I decided to make DIY ball ends by carefully knotting the ends of my wound strings and soldering the knots in place. Thus far, only one of my DIY ball ends unraveled after tuning. The rest have been stretching for days and are holding great. I discovered that the system failure on that one string was due to faulty soldering. I left the iron on the knot too long and melted a gap in the nylon strands, breaking the core of the string. So I'm going to quickly show you how to properly make your own DIY wound nylon ball ends. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a soldering iron, solder, flux, a glue gun, and glue sticks. If you don't have these items but are interested in obtaining the same equipment I'm using, check out my Amazon affiliate links in the video description box below. Using my links does not cost you more, but it does help me and my channel. So here's the process. Create a basic knot close to the bottom end of your string. Do not over tighten the knot as that will damage the nylon core of your string. Apply flux to the knot. As with electronics, the flux will help the solder stick to the metal windings faster, thus reducing your chances of melting your nylon core. Now quickly solder your knot in place. Place. Cut off the excess string below the knot. The trimmed string close to your knot is sharp, so you'll need to eliminate that sharp end, especially if you're building CPGs for sale. Use your glue gun to eliminate the sharp end of your DIY bead. Now it's time to string and tune up your CPG. If your strings hold after a few hours, then you are good to go. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Chaito.